a book series where the men read romance books to learn how to navigate their relationships. Did I intrigue you? Well, that is what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be talking about the Bromance Book Club series by Lisa K. Adams. I recently read the fifth book in the series, and now I want to talk about all of the books and rank them from favorite to least favorite. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them. Today's video is going to be all about the Bromance Book Club with their newest edition of Very Merry Bromance that just came out. I'm super excited to tell you guys about this book series. It's one of my favorites and I just adore it. So. Let's get into the first book. The first book is the Bromance Book Club. Uh, this one follows a uh, baseball player named Gavin. He is married to a woman named Thea and he discovers that she has been faking her big O's in the entire relationship. This of course makes him extremely upset and he doesn't know what to do and they start to have a strain on their marriage. And then he discovers this book club of men who reads romance novels to figure out how to navigate relationships. Of course, in this book, they're reading Bodice Rippers, which is historical romance novels with lots of smut in it. And I think this is going to be helpful to Gavin's relationship. The series as a whole is just incredible. It's, it's completely beautifully well written. These men are just amazing to want to do that research by reading romance novels. Of course they like romance novels but you have to realize that it's taboo for men to read novels like that so I absolutely love the series so much. Um, so I gave this five stars and I think looking back at it this was like the first book that I read and I do think they can be read out of order by the way but you would get so much more out of it if you read it in order if that makes sense. Each book follows a different man from the book club and their love interest. It's just amazing. So that is what this book is about. I gave it five stars. Looking back at it it has been a few years since I've read it but I wouldn't change my rating because I think that because this there was so much excitability this is a new topic, a new theme of men like reading romance and I feel like that really made me so happy to see and they're so well written. <laughs> they um, seem to be like so connected with the women. They are politically correct in everything. They're in touch with their their emotional sides. I really like it and so I just I wouldn't change the rating on this although it probably is more of a four star with if you were to read it but I was just so excited to be introduced to the series that I can't give it anything less than five stars. So as far as ranking um, there's five books in the series so one being my favorite book of all time to five being my least favorite in the series. I'm going to put this in spot number three. Moving on to the second book in the series, we have Undercover Bromance. This follows Brayton Mack, who is the playboy. He's one of my favorite uh, boys in the series because I love the trope of taking a playboy and making him into a loyal, loving, doting spouse or love interest. I love that. His love interest is Liv. She is a sous chef at like this really hot restaurant in Nashville. This is where the book series take place in Nashville, Tennessee. And she finds out her boss is like this creep who preys on his female employees. And so Brayden and Liv decide to work together to take them down, like to make him pay. It's so good. And it was this book where I realized that obviously the name Lisa, you know, it's a female. So I it's this book where I realized that these men are written by a woman because they just do everything right like yeah they have like like a little frustrating things that they do that's like such a man but like I just I realize now that this is it has to be written by a woman because only a woman will know what we want <laughs> but it's so perfectly written I love it it's funny they have like their funny scenes they have their smutty scenes and I, I love it so much. So I also gave this five stars as well. I think I like this one a little bit better than the first book because they have this like undercover like spying kind of thing working on a plot and, and bringing this guy down. So I'm going to put this up higher on the ranking than the first book. So I'm going to put this in 
spot number two. Next up we have Crazy Stupid Bromance. This is book three in the series and it follows Noah. He is kind of like a, a tech genius. He's a hacker and Alexis Carlisle. She is an owner of like this coffee cafe thing. This is one of my least favorite in the novel. So the ultimate trope is that Alexis has like this random sis sister that she's never known before. She comes to the cafe and she's like, our father is dying and I need you to give him like a kidney or something. I forgot what the organ that she has to donate it is, but I'm like, no, forget that. Like, no, he's went his entire life knowing she exists and he's done nothing about it. No, you can kick rocks. So anyways, uh, I didn't like that that plot twist. I didn't like that plot device. It was just, ugh. And then a thing that I had about this one is that out of all of the love relationships in the series, this is the one that I believe the least. It's also friends to lovers, which is my least favorite trope. Like, I do not like it at all. I love enemies to lovers because the passion that you have to hate someone is very similar to the passion that you have to love someone but to go from like loving someone as a friend to loving someone as a relation i just mm, i don't like it i don't believe it like i just i don't really it's very seldom that i see a friends to lovers book that is done well and this one i gave three stars because i just kind of felt like it was not there i i wasn't feeling it so i'm going to put this in spot number five because it's my least favorite. Next up we have book number four. This is Isn't It Bromantic? This follows the Russian. Um, his name is Vlad and they call him the Russian. It's not anything like that. It follows Vlad in his relationship with Alina Konakova. It is a um, marriage of convenience. I did not know. Okay, so here's the thing. I love fake dating tropes. I, I love it, absolutely. I did not know I was gonna love Marriage of Convenience as much as I did in this book. It is absolutely amazing. So Alina is like this like journalist from Russia and she marries Vlad because I think she needed, yeah, she, she was in danger. So she needed to escape Russia. So she married Vlad who is like her friend and oddly enough, it's friends to lovers. It's one of my favorite books, but so she escapes Russia. Um, she escapes Russia by marrying Vlad. He's her childhood friend. So the relationship is pretty much one-sided. Like I feel like Alina doesn't really like Vlad like that, but Vlad actually really does love her. He's like been secretly pining after her all this time. And although they have a marriage of convenience, it's very much like platonic so it's not acted out if you know what I mean. He joins the bromance book club because he wants to learn how to make Alina fall in love with him. It's perfectly written. This book merges romance with like some type of suspense. Like I said, they're from Russia. She was in danger. So that danger is gonna come and find her. And there's like a kidnapping scene. There's a high speed chase. What more can you want in a romance novel? I understand that some people were saying it's a little too much for a romance novel and that's what they have an issue with. But this is a five star read wholeheartedly this is my favorite in the series i do not care i do not care how many books she produced you will not be able to top this i feel like the russian is one of my favorites because he's always the one who's making the jokes in like throughout all of the earlier books and to to have him have his own book it's it's really fun it's really amazing and you get to really see him a little bit more and see that he is actually like more of a person instead of comedic relief and I really love that. I will say though I feel like there was a major change between this book and the previous ones. Honestly how I pictured him was like completely different than how I picture him in this book. In this book he's hot and the other books I kind of feel like he was like this gross guy that farts and eat cheese and <laughs> and just all of that and in this book he's like oh my god you know secretly pining off of this person and you really want yeah I don't know but I love it favorite book I'm putting this in spot number one for sure I do not care okay and then we have the latest addition to the series this is a very merry bromance I recently just finished this book and I gave it four stars I believe so this follows a country music star Colton Willer he is part of the bromance book club and his love interest is Gretchen now keep in mind Gretchen actually had a relationship with one of the other uh, members of the club but it's not really a big deal in this book um, 
One of the things I really love is reading a book where one of the characters is an attorney. I am an attorney in real life and I love to see that reflected in romance novels. She is an immigration attorney and it turns out that she comes from a well-off family and she hates Christmas. So Colton is, so the way that they meet is that her family owns like this, um, I think it's like an alcoholic brand. Um, and they want Colton to be like the face of it. But Colton is in love with Gretchen. That's the attorney. Colton is in love with Gretchen and he sees this as an opportunity to kind of go out on a date with it. So he's like, I'll consider your offer if you go out with me. And he's pretty much, so this is a grumpy sunshine trope. I love Grumpy Sunshine, apparently. Well, reverse Grumpy Sunshine. Does it have to be reversed? I don't know, but the female in this book is the grumpy one and Colton is the sunshine one. I absolutely love how this is done. It was really cute. And it, it really made me realize that I actually like Grumpy Sunshine books. And I think the book that they're reading for their book club is a grumpy sunshine because they kept saying like you guys belong together because you make each other work and they're like oh he's the grumpy one you she's the grumpy one you're the sunshine one so I like it and Gretchen hates Christmas and that's another thing that well she doesn't hates it it's just like she works on Christmas and I actually saw myself in that uh, narrative as well. I'm someone who would work all the time on Christmas when I was in law school. So in law, like, okay, what you guys don't know about me is that I moved from Alabama up here to the DC area for law school and I worked two part-time jobs. Like I was not playing. I worked two part-time jobs while I was in law school and most of the time because I could not afford to travel back home, I would end up working on the holidays because but for me not work, but for me working, like I would just be at home like doing nothing so I might as well just go out and work my jobs and I've like instilled that in me so now every time there's a holiday I want to go and work because I don't really celebrate holidays anymore so that's how she is like from her childhood she really feel like she didn't get the 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 child the childhood Christmas that a lot of people got like putting up Christmas trees and all of that in the presents and things like that like she got the money but she really didn't get the other non-monetary things that come with Christmas. So, of course, Colton is going to kind of like... I don't, I don't want to spoil it, but it's it's such a good book. It's, it's really amazing. So, I am going to put this in the last available spot, which is spot number four. Like I said, all of these books are really fantastic. Um, you can't go wrong with it. It's a, definitely a good series that will work for both men and women. Like literally anyone can read the series and really see themselves in the series. Have fun. It's funny. It's like smutty. It's romantic. It makes you believe in love. And then they also have little snippets of the books that they're currently reading. So in the first book, they have snippets of the historical book that they're currently reading. And it's really fun. It's really good. I highly highly recommend this book so if you haven't read the series yet what are you waiting for like go ahead and get it it's amazing highly recommend so let me just go over the rankings so in spot number one we have book four which is isn't it romantic so favorite book uh and then we have spot number two which is book number two undercover bromance so and then we have book number three which is the first book the bromance book club then we have spot number four which is the latest book a very merry bromance and finally we have you know my least favorite which is still a good book uh, crazy stupid bromance so this is the order that i think is my ranking so if you have read the series comment your ranking from favorite to least favorite in the comments that would be really fun but if you haven't definitely consider giving these books a, tr a chance they're really really great they're one of my favorite series of all times so yeah that is everything that i have for you guys today i hope you really enjoyed this video if you did click the like button and if you want to see more from me definitely consider clicking that subscribe button but until next time i will see you guys later bye